What's up gamers, we're the Skybox Scrubs and today we're going to be doing a video on the Hypixel dev team because they're kind of throwing. Um, so basically in case you haven't noticed lately we haven't been doing very many Skyblock videos and well you're about to see why um, but we're gonna try and do more Skyblock videos in the future if they like update their game or if, if there's something like fun to do it on but we're not just gonna make a video just because it's Skyblock we'll, we'll just make videos on what we want to do but anyways enough talk let's fight so basically here's what's been going on so as you can see here first we got uh, December 16th, some more bug fixes, so that's pretty clutch. And then December 17th, oh, they, uh, somehow that actually is before December 16th, that makes sense. Some dungeon quality of life, I mean, that's so clutch, man, because everyone's so into this game right now, and uh, giving them a little tiny bit more XP is going to be so clutch, um, because only sweats are playing, and wait, wait. Oh yeah, only sweats are playing. They don't care about XP. They all have Cata 50 because no one else plays dungeons because it's freaking lame sauce. God. And then uh, this is a 1.0 design thread. So all of these, these are just explaining what they're going to do. So this basically just adds time to how long it'll take until 1.0 gets released. Nothing special there. All right, and then after that, we got Skyblock Bingo, yeah. They said, oh yeah, our first major game mode has arrived, Bingo. And then you realize, wait a second, first of all, that's the third major game mode. There's Normal, there's Co-op, there's Iron Man. That's actually the fourth. And I wouldn't even call it a major game mode. Freaking Bingo, it resets at the end of the month and you can bring it to your main. Like, that's literally just your main profile, basically. And not only that, but like, the things are like the, the things you have to do are just so useless and like I don't know it's kind of like bestiary but worse because you don't actually get anything good it's all cosmetic it's not like the stuff sells for a lot it's just garbage um, so that's what they've been doing with their time instead of pumping out a good update so that's why we didn't make a video on bingo like who would want to watch that they probably honestly added bingo because uh, it just has people doing a bunch of random crap and uh, it's really like annoying and sometimes time consuming so they're like this will hold them to the next update they'll be doing bingo and they'll think it's fun all right then we have on november 8th bugs quality of life and more bugs more bugs i mean that's that's really this is very useful fixed being able to spam titles with the spirit bow outside of dungeons you already know, that's just complete garbage. There's nothing there. It's, the, it's helpful at all, man. And then the Melon... Melon... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I just... Melancholic Viking Bullseye. Furnace is taking any type of raw fish, even special ones. Alright, so basically here, Hypixel was like, Hey, let's fix a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter and it's never affected anyone. Because um, then people will think that we actually put a bunch of cracked updates in November, even though we didn't, we suck. So, that's about it. And, uh, most of all, uh, they, they fixed a coin, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> God. And then, they added the museum. So, like, museum and bingo is, like, their idea of, like, a big update, or at least, like, they think it'll be. But, like, I'm not counting either of these as big updates. If you want to claim that these are big updates, why don't you try playing Skyblock? focusing on these two for a week yeah good luck you can't um so yeah it's like do you consider yourself a bit of an archaeologist now tell me this who the frick who plays skyblock would consider themselves an archaeologist that's like you like live outside bro people who play skyblock are like hermits dude like shut up that is just garbage do you like roaming museums again everyone who plays skyblock is under the age of six so like museums are only for like people like 40 and above bro like dude no one would like this update i don't know why they even released this so again this is what they're spending their time on instead of like big updates like the fishing or the nether update or something else first of all i'd just like to say that the museum was actually clutch for me because i was able to co-op soulbound the hyperion and now people don't ask for it anymore well they do but then i actually have an excuse not to give it to them so l second of all it says do you like roaming museums for hours on end well even if you don't this update is still right for you that makes sense that makes sense basically just saying it's right for everyone just false rune removal and bug fixes 
Oh man, this patch brings a new feature. Oh, is this gonna be a big update? Nope, you just can remove runes. Um, because everyone has a blood rune one on their Hyperion, so you need to clutch and remove that. And that's that's just pathetic. God, that's so useless. Like, uh, I bet you like 90% of the Skylock players don't even know that this update exists. Because exactly. can't you just like replace a rune? Like if you have a blood one, can't you just put on like a like a you, cloud you rune two? You can put on a blood three. I don't know. It, it has to be the same type, but I mean, uh, I don't know why you would put like a snow rune or buy something with a snow rune on it anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, another 1.0 design thread, useless. And then we got Crystal Hollows Achievements and Dungeon Finder Settings. Like, dude, the title is supposed to be the most broad thing about the update. And this is like so specific. Like, dude, it's literally like two very specific things in the game. And it says, hey all, capitalized all. First of all, that's like terrible grammar. They're using an exclamation point as if we're excited about this. And then they said, I call that mercy. Like, what? Like, I think the person who's like doing this is like drunk or like high or both. I mean, like, what, what, what does this even mean? Can anyone tell me that? I call that mercy? Like, what? That's the name of the achievement, but like, what, you're not, how are you supposed to figure out what that even means? Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do? Like, think about killing a iron golem and then be like, eh, actually, I won't. Oh yeah, I have mercy, bro. I just got an achievement, because they can read my thoughts. Like, whatever, dude. Makes sense, makes sense. Some QOL and fixes. Wow, there seems to be a pattern, a bunch of random fixes that suck, and a bunch of QOL that's not actually that helpful. Um, oh, oh look, they changed. They, they made stacking mushroom soups possible. Booster cookies exist. Um, don't know if they know that. And also, mystical exists, and if you need a stack mystical, I don't know what drugs you're on. Like, what? You need like 800 hours at once, man. Get help. Uh, so that update pretty much sucked. Uh, you can't even really call that an update. Um, yeah, true. Here's Point another 1.0 design thread. Ugh. Number five, few smaller ideas, no one cares. Like what? That's just adding, they're just adding ideas to 1.0. It's just gonna take like a long time. And notice how in here it says, today we'll take a little break and talk about a myriad of smaller scope ideas we have in mind for 1.0. First of all, take a little break? It hasn't that, isn't that what you've been doing since Crystal Hollows? Like, what do you need a break for? You guys need to work harder, if anything. And second of all, Myriad. Oh yeah, you think you're so cool because you used a vocab word that you learned in 8th grade for your freaking ELA assignment. Bums. And then, uh, Reforged by Accessory, Rarity, and more. Like, this one, like, is actually kind of a useful QOL. It basically just makes it so you can reforge your bag, like, based on the rarity instead of, like, reforging all of them. But, like, I don't know. It's very, like, situational, and honestly, by now, it's pretty much just good to just have all of your, no matter the rarity, pretty much all of them are just going to have the same reforge anyways. And, uh, as you can see at the bottom, they're like, when opening a sack from the sack of sacks. Like, I don't care what the rest of that says. You know that's freaking useless. So, yeah. Uh, true, true. Alright, another design thread, 1.0 design thread. Alright, they talk about co-ops and guilds, the one thing that's actually pretty solid in the game right now. Um, co-ops work, guilds work, I mean there's no reason to be in a guild except if you want to be in our guild because it's so cracked and we are always online. Um, but yeah, that, that, that shouldn't exist man, I don't know what you're going to change, you're probably going to end up screwing it up. And then, the best one of all, the super tiny patch. What the frick, man? You literally called it the super tiny patch. Oh, they added warp to void. Except Schuler. Yep, that's how you pronounce it. Um, and that's actually useless if you didn't already know that, because it takes like 10 seconds to get there. And it, the what? Who cares about warping there, man? And then Brian's compassion now tracks the amount of gifted coins on the weapon. <laughs> Who the heck even uses Midas? No one. Like, what? Just, Byron's Compassion? That just sounds freaking stupid. I don't even know. Guild, yeah, I'm gonna pull up my Gilded Midas and kill things, and I can track that I have 26,000 coins given away on it. 
Yeah, that that patch sucks. I'm sorry, it's just awful. But wait, they added an auto pet rule exception, so I think that's a good update. All right. Anyways, uh, here's 1.0 design thread one. This is where all the crap starts right here. Useless. And another design thread. And then here we have Crystal Hollows patch. So last week we released a PSA, and I think they tried to like make it a different color or something. Like you know how if you do like the and symbol and then like four and then some weird like greater than less than you can like code it to like make it like bold or like white or red or whatever i think they tried to do that there but they just failed miserably and uh yeah they basically just changed the amount of stuff you need and they nerfed gemstone sell prices so basically they just like screwed over the money making method of like half the population that's pretty much all they did so Bala. yeah it's pretty funny because they only nerfed the late game players i mean i guess it was a good nerf because they boosted the fortune of early game players but um in the end the late game players, they had high pixel. You put this out eons too late, man. They had already just destroyed the economy. Like, they had put trillions in the economy, and then you drop this like four months later. Like, dude, come on, man. A little late. PSA upcoming gemstone changes. Okay, so you gave us a uh, six days before this came out. You told everyone that they should grind their butts off and make an absurd amount of money because this is coming. What, what the frick, man? Why did you do that? Why did you warn them? Ah. And notice how the sentence is not even capitalized. And there's no punctuation other than the comma and the apostrophe, so... Like, these guys, like, it's just little stuff like this that you can just tell they don't care. Uh, moving on. Oh, but guys, don't worry. The Weaponsmith City Project. I was actually kind of hyped for this, like, um... Because, like, there's, like, new arrows, and I was like, ooh, it's going to be, like, a meta thing. Like, it's, depending on what situation you're in, you use, like, a different arrow. And then you realize, oh, like, these don't even really matter. Like, they have such a minimal impact that you may as well just use normal arrows to save the coins. And, uh, like, Rosetta, Jax, like, all, all these new NPCs, it seems like it's a bigger update than it is, but it's really not. And... The worst part about this, I'm pretty sure this was like fully funded like December of 2018 or something, dude. It was just sitting in the freaking community place. Like, like remember when they first released the mayor update back in like 2016 and like everyone was like doing it and then like for like three mayors or like not mayors, but like for three community projects, we like funded it and then it got released like two days later and you could like get like early access. That was like actually fun. And then I guess they realized Oh, wait a second, guys. We can't make, like, five updates a day, so... Let's just, like... The next one that comes out, let's just, like, do the update, like, a year or two later. Yeah, it sounds good, so... That's basically this. Ten new types of arrows. Uh, guess what? Ten of them are useless. Uh, and a new target practice minigame. I tried it, and I realized, wait a second. It's basically... You know the game in the murder mystery lobby that you can do? It's basically that, but worse. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. PSA upcoming gemstone changes. Wow, no way. They gave us two warnings for this. And that's that's actually like that's ten days right there. And for some reason they gave you a warning four days later in case you missed the first one, but right there, that's like five trillion coins, just good one, high pixel. And uh... Oh my god. And then they actually did nerf gemstones before this, um, and then you can see it was uh, accidental reverting now. <laughs> so they did what they needed to do, and then they realized, hey, this is balanced. Let's uh, let's just completely undo it and let people grind because they're like, oh, it's back. And then they nerf. Them. That makes sense. And the nerf was four times less of a nerf than this accidental nerf, which was cracked. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Cause like, how do you like nerf something in the game on accident? Like, don't you have to, like, completely change the code or something? Like, I'm not a coder, but, like, I'm pretty sure that that's pretty hard to do on accident. And, like, another thing I noticed about this upcoming gemstone changes is it just sounds... Like, they're just such scrubs, bro. Just, like, this first sentence. Yesterday, the NPC sold price of gemstones got momentarily dropped to one coin, then reverted. We would like to apologize and explain what happened. Like, they just sound like complete bums, bro. Like, they don't know what they're doing, dude. And then moving on, the this one was actually good. Um, no one cares about the bug fixes, but the new dungeon rooms, I think they released like four or five, and they were actually like cool rooms too. So, I mean, that's cool, but like, again, 
I would not count that as like an actual update, you know? That's not something that like the whole community knows about or something that like you can like actually see, like you log on to Skyblock and you like access the bazaar and you're like, oh, there's something new. No, there's none of that. I mean, it was cool. I'm not trying to like downgrade its importance, but I'm just saying like, that's not an update. And if you think that is like, you're just dumb. I'm not uh, trying to downgrade its importance, but uh, it's not an update, and if you think it is, then you're dumb. <laughs> Indubitably. <laughs> Item drops plus tiny patch. Tiny. Okay, so this was useful if you're complete trash at the game. So if you frequently, uh, if you keep your drop key as Q, then I guess it's useful. If you're always just spam clicking Q for some reason, and you're dropping your crap, now no one can pick it up or see it. And this sort of helped with IRL trading, but I mean, who cares, man, with the economy right now and boost cookie prices? Just IRL trade like legit and you'll still make bank. So this ended up just being annoying because uh, you can't really like drop crap to anyone now. So unless they're in your co-op and now your co-op members will just drop a bunch of dungeon stuff on you, but you know it's them because it couldn't be anyone else. So yeah, that was the best part of that update. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember like, I always used to throw crap on Gunnermut, and then when the update came out, I didn't realize that the update came out, obviously, because it's so small, just like all the other ones we've discussed. But uh, I lobbed like a bunch of like inflatable Jerry's and freaking like decoys on him. And he's like, Jack, what the heck? And I was like, how did he know it's me? <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, we're on the final stretch, by the way. We're on the Crystal Hollows Week 2 patch, so two weeks after it was updated, they already need to patch it, and... Yeah, that says all you need to know about that. Yep, and uh, week one patch was also there. So um, this is just them um, just not testing their updates at all. I, I don't understand, man. I mean, yeah, obviously they're gonna have to make patches, but some of the stuff in their patches, it's just like, dude, you, there's no way you possibly tested this, man. It just doesn't work at all. Like what? So, yeah, this is just them not testing their crap. Yeah, the amount of times, like, I couldn't give you, like, a specific example, but I just remember vaguely, like, far in the past, like, during some of our streams, I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, like, like, when we're playing a new update, I'm like, dude, like, within three hours, I already noticed, like, some glaring issue with the update, and I'm like, what? It literally would take them, like, eight hours of playing their own game to find this like it's so obvious like it's not like i was doing some weird thing like going through like a secret tunnel secret tunnel i was just like playing just normally and i found it easily and then here we are boys the last major update that they have released uh it was on freaking i think that's july yeah july 14th 2021 uh for your information it's currently like a week away from christmas at the time of filming this so, yeah, you can do the math. Um, basically, if you were born uh, on the last Hypixel update, by now you'd be walking. So, that's kind of sad, honestly. But, yeah, basically, uh, it was the Crystal Hollows. It was a good update, I won't lie. Except for one uh, pretty trash thing. The building team, they came out big. Like, that was, it looked really cool. But the dev team, or the admins, or the coders... Whoever was in charge of, like, making the actual content, like, bro, they had, like, up to, like, Heart of the Mountain 5, you could get that in, like, a month, and it took them, like, three months to make the update, and it was so dry, it was basically a prison server, and we're not the only ones thinking that, like, pretty much everyone thought it was just a prison server, so if you want to play that, just go on freaking Archon, dude, like, one of the worst servers of all time, just go on that, and that's, like, the same thing, um, so, I mean, yeah, this was a big update, but it was freaking July 14th, so since then they've done practically nothing unless you count Museum Bingo and New Dungeon Rooms as an update. Uh, but don't worry guys, they're giving us ideas for 1.0 that's going to come out uh, when our grandsons are like working their business jobs. But yeah, basically, um, that's, I mean, basically why we haven't been doing as many uh, Skyblock videos lately. I mean, there's literally been nothing new in like six months. Any final thoughts, Gunner Mutt? Um, well, according to Hypixel, they're dropping the Nether update uh, before 2022. So, I mean, they got like, what, 
13 days left. So, I mean, maybe they'll clutch up. Um, or maybe they'll just release another update before 2022. They'll be like, yep, this is what we needed, fishing update. Because foraging exists. But foraging is a great skill, and uh, it's very fun, and the progression is just awesome. So, yeah, they're prioritizing stuff before foraging, which instantly just means that it's just no. Yeah, they're pretty much just neglecting foraging. And they should honestly just remove foraging from the game. There's no reason. I mean, strength, like, that's not... Strength got heavily nerfed when they nerfed the Flower Truth. So, yeah. So, my final thoughts are as follows. Hypixel is a hypocritical, greedy, vengeful, cowardly, deadly, mendacious, meretricious, loathsome, despicable, belligerent, opportunistic, veritrous, contemptible, criminal, fascistic, bigoted, racist, sexist, avaricious, tasteless, idiotic, brain damaged, imbecilic, insane, arrogant, deceitful, demented, lame, self-righteous, conspiratorial, satanic, fraudulent, libelous, bilious, splenetic, spastic, ignorant, clueless, illegitimate, harmful, destructive, dumb, evasive, double-talking, devious, revisionist, narrow, manipulative, uh, paternalistic, fundamentalist, dogmatic, idolatrous, unethical, cultic, deceased, uh, suppressive, controlling, restrictive, malignant, deceptive, dim, crazy, weird, dystopic, stifling, uncaring, plantigrade, grim, unsympathetic, jargon-spouting, censorious, secretive, aggressive, mind-numbing, erasive, poisonous, flagrant, self-destructive, abusive, socially retarded, puerile, clueless, and generally not good company. So, yeah. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. That's our video. We stream every Friday and Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Mountain Time, so show up for those. We'll probably um, start doing some more Skyblock stuff, or maybe we'll do, like, private games. I don't know. We're just kind of playing random games that we think are fun, so if you want to try new games, then you should join our streams. So, yeah. Peace out, boys.